73 Super Glide. Well, we're having a bunch of fun here on Saturday. And uh, so we had to take this this here strut daily. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. This thing. This thing that we're trying to compress came out of that hole in here. And we'll kind of show you with that pointer. Oh, sorry guys. From here up to this plate. Down here this a bolt goes through, comes up this plate. So we had to take this lower upper ball joint loose. This one. I believe you can still see me. Yep. And took this wire loose so we didn't just damage it. Took the bolts loose on the top. And use my little dealy here. Oh, I don't know if you can see it or not there. It's uh, for bodies, body work. A little hydraulic cylinder and a pump. And we pump between the upper control arm and the lower control arm. Pushed it down enough. But you got to be careful because that inner inner boot right here this inner boot will come out of the shaft will come out so be careful there this did come out but we were able to get it back in there so just be careful of that when you're jacking it down if you use that thing this is exactly what a what's called right here I've had this thing for I don't know how many years. A lot of years. 20 some years or something or other. All it does is leak, it still works. That's what I use. Four ton body and frame repair kit. That's what I used. It's paid off well. I paid $100 for about 20. Pretty close to 20 years ago. So, anyways. That's what we're doing. My son went to Harbor Freight to get the spring compressor because uh, my uh, ones I picked up at uh, flea market are starting to tweak there a little bit. And they are not going to work. If you can see, it's starting to tweak right there a little bit and binding on these two screws here and then this shaft holler here it's, bad, it's binding up so we're going to get a new one from Harbor Freight as we speak and he's putting in this kit right here along with it it's a leveling kit if you can read it on the side of the box leveling kit by performance let's see if you can read that we are putting a leveling kit on this Dodge, along with three by a three-inch body left, and there you can see it there at the box. And it really is uh, not much in there. Um, two of these things, two little aluminum aluminum saucers with holes. So my understanding is when you get that strut off. This is supposed to be the same as this. Like that. But that's supposed to go on just like that, but underneath. So between this plate here and there's a spacer underneath there, this is supposed to go in there. That's supposed to raise it up a whopping inch and a half he said so we'll have to figure that out when we come to it and we are putting on new
new Rancho shocks. Rancho. You can read that in there. They don't make it very. See, I can't even get to the picture. It's there. It says Rancho. Somewhere's in there. You can't see it from all the white. There's a PO number. It says Rancho. Rancho. There's the part number. Comes with this little nice wonderful poly thing here. I don't know. Made in the United States. Got a wonderful sticker he took off. So we're putting on new struts here. Shock struts in the front. Same springs. We're doing the same springs. And uh, plus that love link kit. Alright. I want to say that I'm going to piece this together, but uh, I don't think so. I don't think I can piece this all together, guys. Of course, they give you a lot. They give you a little piece of paper. All the information on it. If you have any questions, performance, technical service number, customer number, all this. Warranty information. I'll give you a. Uh, sorry about that. Everything's in the way. And a. That's where it says Dodge four wheel drive, one and a half inch front leveling kit. Installation and there's the part number ID number. I give you a whole lot of lots of pictures. Look at that. All the stuff we need to read. We all do read. Yep. Yeah. We look for the pictures. Yep. And uh, more pictures. Look at that. They even show you a battery there. And more pictures. More pictures. More pictures. More pictures. Yes, look at the pictures. We're down to the last pace with pictures. We assembly. It gets you once you take the battery loose that every time you touch the car. Alright. And then they're giving you the, the spacer numbers. Right there. Quality 2. That's all there is in that. Again, that's. Now it's decides it's going to be windy out. Dodge Dakota four wheel drive. 2000, 2011. Alright, guys, what's we got going on here? all you get in that kit. There'll be more than that on there. Linking kit and all that. I don't think you got any of that stuff there. I think that's more they're trying to advertise in it. Performance leveling kit. I don't know why they show a Jeep because I guess this Jeep's the only thing it can be done to. They're all advertised on this channel in this place here. Yep. And uh, scan your phone. Look at that. Whew. All right, guys. Here it is. Here's all the options they have with their kits. Torsion bars, spacer kits, Dodge Rams, all that other stuff you get with them. All right, so we should have this one side done today. I can always show you the shocks in the back, the Rancho shocks, but. I think you've seen them before. All right, 73 Super Glide. See you around. Hopefully this will be back together tonight.